of staying with the locomotive theme now and something to bring a smile to all lovers of steam. You know, staff at the Seven Valley Railway held a special ceremony today to celebrate a transformation that's been eagerly awaited for years. Well, it's not the opening of a new line or even the inauguration of a restored engine, but it'll let engineers see their painstaking work in a whole new light, as Andy Bevan explains. From above, the Seven Valley Railway's maintenance shed at Bridge North looks like new, and to all intents and purposes, it is. And it's going to be a game changer. Staff who worked in it before didn't need much persuasion to take part in a fundraising video highlighting why something just had to be done. The shed roof is rotting, it's full of holes. We really struggle lifting the heavy equipment we've got here. You're literally dodging the drifts when you're working. We have to use torches to see what we are doing. But now, almost half a million pounds later, this transformation planned before the pandemic has been completed on time. There's a new roof with translucent panels, as well as new insulated wall cladding. New LED lighting will use a fraction of the energy, yet provide vastly improved illumination. And a 6.3 tonne crane will make the overhaul and maintenance of steam locomotives easier and more efficient. We want to um, entice all apprentices um, to work with us and, and they would walk in here and think, why would I want to work here? But now they're walking into a, a brand new, clean working environment where they can see that we're investing in them and, and their working environment. Because the crane's now operational, you've got more room, you can move stuff quicker and things like that. It's just, it's just a cleaner environment and it makes you feel like coming in here as well. Because before you walk in and go, oh, here we go again, cold, wet, damp. Yeah, so that, that's the difference to us. The so-called home and dry appeal relied heavily on public donations, a big ask in these tough times. But for some, this place is more than just a good cause. Andy Goring and his partner Cheryl Windross donated in memory of Andy's father, Ian, who died last year. Seeing his dad's name on the scroll of thanks today was a special moment. I used to come here for days out, um, had steam pipe experiences, these experiences, this was like a kid in the sweet shop for him. Um, so to see his name on the, on the scroll is a, a big emotional thing for me. I'm into history and history of everything, so keeping all of this alive for me is the main thing. It's a big week for the Seven Valley Railway. On Friday, the newly restored loco Hagley Hall will carry passengers for the first time. But for now, she'll stay right here in the shed home and dry. Andy Bevan, ITV News. It looks really good, doesn't it? There's some upgrade, isn't it? it well, gosh, yeah, it sounds like it's dirty, damp, horribly oh, said. Yeah. That was just beautiful. And who doesn't love spending a day on the Seven Valley Railway? Yeah, definitely, it is beautiful. Yeah. Now...